So hello everybody. I am so 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 excited. Um, my lightning cream came in the mail today. Um, this is the one that has the McQuinnell. I don't know how to pronounce it. McQuinnell, McQuinnell. But yeah, it has that retinol, um, kojic acid, and then like a blend of mulberry and licorice extract. And this lightning cream is supposed to be pretty serious. Um, so with this, I will not be going into the sun. So if you look up McQuinnell, it's actually an alternative to hydroquinone. So with that being said, um, <laughs> I'm going to make sure that I am not in the sun um, at all, at all. Yesterday I was at the zoo and we have family in town. And so, um, you know, I got some sun on my legs. I mean, that was my choice. I actually wore like a tennis skirt and then I wore a long sleeve shirt. So technically I could have done long sleeve shirt and long sleeve pants, but I did not. And so um, I took a picture like a, because I had on these like a, these shoes, actually there are those shoes right there. And so like you can kind of see where like my toes were covered, but like half of my foot was out. Just like to tie, kind of see what the uh, damage was. Um, and so there was a little bit, but I'm just assuming that this is going to be a superficial tan, so I'm not stressing about it too much. Now that I have this cream, I will not be taking such chances. Um, like, I think it's, you know, good to, like, go out, you know, do stuff. Sometimes you can't always plan. Um, it just happened to be 90 degrees outside, and, you know, the zoo is an outdoor activity. I mean, obviously, I could have stayed home, but at the same time, you want to live your life. But if you're going to be on something like this, then obviously long pants and long sleeves it is or you know that's if you absolutely want to go if not you can just not go at all but um you definitely don't want to mess around with being in the sun on this because uh you know your skin is going to be pretty sensitive it's i'm assuming i've never used it before i'm about to um i'm about to put it on probably after this video but um just when i use like a, this has retinol in it which retinol is um, not as strong as tretinoin but with the research that i did um most of the like forums and stuff were saying that like mcquinnell and retinol is actually better because with the tretinoin like the tretinoin was like too strong and so it's a more you have more issues not more issues but there's just a bigger chance of you actually you know having mishaps with your skin whether that's making your skin too sensitive or you know just damaging your skin so it's interesting to see that people were actually like yeah retinol is actually better to use with the Miquinol because I would just think you know use everything you know the stronger the better but in this case it's actually safer to not but um, I think with the kojic acid and the licorice I think this cream is still going to pack a punch so I'm pretty excited and so um, on they have like an Etsy as well as a website um, I'll have all the links but um, this is their semi-permanent lotion And, um, you know, the scent is pretty strong. I think I'm going to only put it on at night, which will probably be smarter <laughs> because with most like retinols or if you're on like a retinoid, um, usually using it at night is safer. Uh, just, I don't know why that is. I guess because they think it'll be washed off by the morning or something. I don't know, but I'll probably just start off with doing it once a day, put it on overnight and um, we'll see how my skin reacts to it. So in this video, um, I'll probably use retinol and retinoid interchangeably. This has a retinol in it. Tretinoin would be a retinoid. So tretinoin is pretty strong, but with the blend of stuff that's in here, I'm assuming it's going to be just as strong, if not stronger than tretinoin. But with retinoids, you're supposed to put them on at night um, to help, you know, protect your skin from, you know, any sun exposure because that could really, really, really make your skin too sensitive. And for me, I don't want to give myself any types of rash or patches or I just, I want to be safe while using this. And so using at night, I think is for the best. Also, I will not be using any other serums or creams. So for this next 
month or so or longer i'll just be using this i made a video talking about well i haven't uploaded it yet i think i'm gonna upload it for tomorrow but um showing um what happens to your skin after you know a couple months of being on glutathione and skin lightening and how you'll actually start to see patches you can't see it on video right now but i took some pictures outside um just in broad daylight so you guys could actually see what it looks like when the new skin starts showing through i think it'll be interesting if after using this for a few weeks just to see if that helps more of the new skin shine through or not um, i do anticipate some peeling with this product i don't know to what extent but there there might be some peeling um like i said we'll see i've never used it before <laughs> but um i do know that it is you know if if i stick with it i think the results are going to be like really 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 good um but going back to retinol retinoids and that type of thing when using like let's say a retinoid like tretinoin i noticed that the skin on my chest and on my face would kind of look worse before it got better so i'm not sure if using this Mequinol and um, retinol mixture if it's going to be much the same where your skin just kind of looks a little dingy and really it's just like the old skin basically taking itself out <laughs> and then um, after a couple weeks of that the new skin will come through so um, I'm just hypothesizing right now because I don't actually know but we're about to find out so as far as which areas I'm going to be applying this I'm going to do um, obviously my feet and my legs um, before I wasn't really going to do my feet but now that I have those tan lines um, it'll be kind of cool just to see what happens so I'm going to put it on my feet my legs my arms my stomach um, as much as my back as I can um, reach because you know the back is like an awkward area Obviously my shoulders, um, I'm probably not gonna worry too much about my hands. It's just cause like I wash my hands so often. So I mean, I'm gonna, I'll put it on there, but how long it's gonna stay on, I don't know. Cause I only, um, just to start off with, I'm only gonna like apply it once a day, um, just to see how my skin reacts. I know it's been mentioned that some people have had some tingling sensations around like the sensitive areas. As far as for my bikini line, I will be putting it around there. Um, obviously not anywhere where i could like get an infection or anything but you know just around like the bikini lines like where you know hair would grow or something um and i do think i'm going to use some on my nips um i'm not sure yet if that's a bad idea or not <laughs> for nips because they are so sensitive i might just put it on every other day just to see and i'll keep you guys updated because um yeah i think most people like when they when they lighten like they kind of you know they want to get those intimate parts too but obviously i want to be safe um because this isn't specifically for intimate areas but you know around the bikini line you know i'll just be careful with it is basically what i'm trying to say <laughs> and if i do notice any sensitivities i will either scale back to maybe every other day or every two days or i'll just figure it out but um yeah i do plan on pretty much trying to put it everywhere um and so yeah we're gonna see i'm so excited so like i said i'll have links to the website and then to this product um this is their main seller the semi-permanent lotion so yeah um i'm really excited to see what all the hype is about